everyone, how's it going? Boom Slang here. Welcome to my channel. So, today I was working in the garage and I got a text message from Mark saying, Hey, I got 16 boxes of cards ready for you. Um, so I'm like, Yep, I'm in. Plus, he said three boxes of uh, 88 uh, Dunross. And I was like, I automatically went to wax boxes. Didn't ask. He didn't say. Turns out they're um, factory sets, complete factory sets of 88 Dunross. So, um, 90 bucks got me everything. Uh, 16 boxes of cards plus the three factory sets. 90 bucks. So, not bad, not bad. And I did pop these open just before going live here. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Yes, before going live. I can pop them open again. There we go. So you can see they're, they're uh, sealed. Except here. I don't know why they opened them up. Well, I know why. Because I opened the other boxes. And um, they had the, um, what you call, the Glavin rookie card. Um, I don't know why that one's not sleeved up. I haven't checked it to... But these here, they already put the um, Glavin Rookie card in Card Saver. So, got three of those. Here's the other one. Boom. Glavin Rookie card. And this one I'm going to have to check and see um, why the Glavin rookie card isn't uh, in a sleeve. I opened up two of them, just like in all the other ones, looking for it. I guess I should have looked and see what number it was. Uh, let's see what number it is. Hey, Cardmaster, how's it going? What's up? Not much. Um, I picked up um, a lot of cards today, so it's uh, 644 from um, a guy I know, Art. And um, yeah, let's see if it's in here 39, 42, 43. 45. So where's the 644? Hmm. Maybe this one's missing out of here. Maybe they took this one. Well, it's good to know, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it's missing out of this one. So I'm going to have to find one and put it in um, this box. I have to make a note that it's missing out of this one box. It's not exactly complete sets. Two complete sets, one missing card 644. So how you been, Ronnie? Been killing them up there at the uh, flea market? I haven't been doing much, actually. I've been working um, at work and then um, after work uh, in the garage, trying to get that all um, squared that away. All. There we go. Turn the volume off on that. Hey, you guys. It's, it's our time collecting. How's it going? What's up? Not much. Um, I, I was working in the garage, and um, 
I got a text message from Art saying, hey, I got 16 boxes plus three boxes of 88 Dunruss. I was thinking wax. I'm like, yeah, how much? And he's like, oh, um, uh, 90 bucks. I'm like, all right, 90 bucks. I'm down. I'll take it. So um, this is um, just one of the boxes here. So we'll get a slid out of the way. See what we come up with real quick. Oh, the stickers were taken off of this side. Okay, gotcha. So um, the last lot I got from Art was like, no kidding, guys, like 90% right here. The 88 Flare. So many of them. Full boxes of them. But it's all right. It is what it is. Oh, where's some 79? Woody Herzog, 79 tops, Ken Boyer, go and put that there, it's the oldest card so far, 79 tops, there's a nice Frank White, look at that Fu Manchu he's sporting there man, check him out, very nice, Rudy May, Hall of Famer, Dick Williams. Yeah, so someone took the stickers off of the little sticker books. Stickers. Play stuck in the book. Hey, Cartoon Racer, how's it going? Thank you, thank you. I uh, Let's hope we get something good, right? So I just went through um, the uh, three factory lots, three factory sets, and appears one of these boxes. One set is missing the um, the um, Glavin rookie card. So I'm going to have to find one and stick it in there, just so I have three complete sets, or to complete that one set anyway. Brett, it's all of famer. Uh, let's see, who did I bypass here? I probably shouldn't have. Maybe it was nobody. Maybe it's just my imagination thinking I passed someone. Yeah, all right. Never mind. Well, 78 is now the oldest uh, year card so far in this box. Carlton Fisk. Of justice. Andre Dawson, the hawk. He looked pissed off. That's the that's the face he made. Right after Jeter fired him, too, I'm sure. The man's in your office. Well, that's right. Jeter didn't fire him. Jeter sent someone else to fire him. But you know what I mean. Then Jeter fired the guy that fired him. Some Edgar Martinez action. Very nice, Edgar. Silver signature of Chris James. 
me put that over there. How Morris Bazooka. Is he chewing bubble gum in that picture? No. Nope. Fred McGriff. Crime dog himself. Some Jose Canseca. Canseco, sorry, with a bazooka. Look at a barrel on that bat, man. That's a big ass barrel. No, actually, they were—they actually survived pretty well. They, they didn't—they uh, didn't lose any paper, which is nice. Very nice. Look at that. They survived very well. I'm sure, we'll come across more though in here. That's going to give us that crackly sound. Dennis McNamara. Another Canseco. How about some Bo Jackson? Very nice. Another 79 tops. 78 tops. Dave Rosello. 78. Bruce Bakhti. Sounds a little boogered up. 79, Bill North, Doug Rowell, Hector Cruz from 78 Tops, Joe Ferguson, Eric Rasmussen, Randy Jones, nice looking 79. Dan Walters, rest in peace, Dan, passed away this year, I believe, yeah, this year he passed away from injuries sustained um, in the line of duty many years ago as a police officer in San Diego, where he was shot in the line of duty, and when he fell backwards into the street, he got hit by a car or truck, something hit him, and paralyzed him. For the rest of his life, he spent the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Part of that, he was a baseball player. Played for the uh, Las Vegas Stars and the San Diego Padres. Another 79, Mike Garman. Warren Cromartie. Seventy-eight Gene Tennis. Hey Alex, how's it going? This is a, a lot I picked up. Um, it's a little after five o'clock, so probably around five thirty. I made it to Art's house. And um, he um, had 16 boxes for me. So here's a 77. So new oldest card is 77 tops. 78. We've got some 77, 78s, and 79s in here. Hall of Famer Tony Perez. With the Expos. Wayne Twitchell. Jerry Remy. Oh, it's off cut. Nice. Got one little thing on the corner there. But it's off center card, so. Hmm. One Berenguer. Twitchell. 
Pepe Frias. How do's? Larry Gura. Mark Littell. Charlie Moore. John Denny. Honus Wagner, Hall of Fame. Ah, la, la, la. I went through, um, last night I went through, like, every Conlon card that I have and um, put uh, a bunch in the binders. So, and I still have, like, this stack is like all doubles of commons. Sorry about that. Bump the camera. This stack is all doubles of commons. This stack is all doubles of commons. Doubles. Conlon. And more doubles of Conlon. So literally a boatload of commons. Like uh, or uh, uh, doubles of these Conlon collection cards. Like uh, two, four, six, eight, probably a thousand Probably a thousand cards right here. Like I said, they're all they're all doubles. So I've been talking with. Um, hold on, I gotta, I gotta remember her name again. Uh, I got I got a tag here somewhere. But anyway, she and I had talked about it because she was get, she had a lot of these, and I said. Um, I, want, I was thinking about doing a collection. I think she was too. So we're going to do some horse trading on those um, Conlon cards just to fill out our collections. I also came across these in the Conlon um, for promotional use only promo cards. So they'll go in the binder. Dizzy and Daffy Dean and Pepper Martin promo cards. All right, back to these. Can we guess who this is? Sam McDowell. Nope, Scott Sanderson. Ah, uh, there's about 1,500 cards in the set. So, Tommy Davis, designated hitter. Oscar Gamble. I mean, if that was um, Ozzy Smith, look how centered that one is. Of course, the Ozzy Smith cards are not centered at all. Roger Craig. Greg Swindell without the stickers on the back. Andy Hassler. Fred Norman. Bill Lee, the spaceman. Bill Lee. Get over there. 
Quisenberry. John Denny. Vic Corral. Cecil Cooper. Lots of uh, 1979 cards here. Uh oh, something's out of whack. There's a brick here. Oh, these got wet. Ugh. These are wet. So, what? They came apart. That's weird, but you can tell they got wet like bubblegum stain. Right along his shirt there, you can see that discoloration. They came right apart. I don't, I don't know. But it's definitely a brick. It, but it's like, I don't know. Weird. There's no paper loss. But you can hear it. No paper loss, which is good. There's no paper loss because they're not glossy. They're just regular matte. Oh, this one's really tough. This one may have paper loss. Mm, very little right there. Ken Brett. Chris Sabo. Gotta be paper loss. No. Amazing. Paper loss on that one. A little bit there. Nope. Very good. Pressing on. Joe Wallace. Brian Downing. Was that other Mike Cubbage card off center? Was it a Mike Cubbage? Sure was. Look at that. This one's even worse because I got the top of the, or they printed them like this, maybe. Upside down, downside up. Now that's the top of a card. Same guy, miscut. What are the odds? Thanks, Alex, for putting that link up there again. We're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there, guys. I don't know. It's a haul, I guess. The test. Quisenberry. Dallas Green Franco. Fisk again. cards but I have the first 320 consecutive plus more than that so that goes right into the uh, the doubles pile I know I got all of series one Harold Baines Flipping guys. Not the error card. The J doesn't have a little white spot at the top. That's just the regular card. Is 
Teddy Martinez. Vic Davilio. Bobby Castillo, Gary Maddox, Don Gullet, 78, John Milner, Tartable, the U.S. Playing Card Company from 1992, Major League Baseball Aces. There's a Pepper Martin again. Top career World Series average of 418 in 1928. I got that one because it's under 320. Mike Myers. Michael Myers. Don't be scared. Joey James. Jay Gaynor. John Eriks. And he was kind of ticky tacky to the back of Hojo's card. Reggie Smith, some 79 tops. Dick Williams, Hall of Fame manager. Saberhagen. Mickey Hatcher. Gary Laval, the Valley. Johnny Oates, Joe Orsalak. Someone in here, one of these, one day said they are like PC Joe Orsalak. Kurt Schilling, fan favorite, maybe a Hall of Famer. Big headed Lee Smith from Score. Carlton Fisk, All Star. Matt Noakes. Dale Austin. Ernie Riles, that's an update. Yep. 
Jack Moore's update. Yep. Dave Parker with the A's. So tomorrow I plan to just hang out in the garage and finish hanging some sheetrock. I hung one sheet tonight. Woo woo! Without without destroying my thumb like I did the other day hanging sheetrock. So I didn't draw drill through my thumb and I um, didn't blow up the house short circuit everything like I did yesterday almost blew up the house because I touched checking for um, power to a, a box like a, uh, it was a switch light switch box and um, these are bricked but not bad, like they come right off. So we'll accept that. And sparks went flying. Now, thank goodness I didn't have the camera running. You know, if I if I had it running, it would have been probably uh, might have been trending on uh, YouTube still today, of like uh, a not what not to do kind of thing. Yeah, I know. It's two days in a row, by the way. I, I popped circuit breakers in the house. <laughs> checking outlets for power. First time, I wasn't even checking the first time. I just was taking the, the cover off, and one of the screws fell down. Like, when I pulled the, the cover off, the screw was pretty long, and it went down, and it touched the... For some reason, used metal boxes in, in, in the garage. And it's grounded right to the box and it hit that box and sparks flew everywhere and the lights went out in the kitchen and there's uh, Ozzy Canseco, Jose's twin brother, brother. So, um, and then the next day I um, was called my son and I, he was at work and I said, listen, I'm going to do this, but, you know, I just want to have you walk me through your meter here and he told me what to do uh but he had no idea there were metal boxes you just touch this touch this screw and touch that screw and it'll tell you and i touched the one screw and as i put the probe in i hit the side of the box and whoosh, sparks went flying it melted the end of his probe off it was like woo, yeah so then he um after work he uh came over to help out make sure I didn't kill myself that's a Ron Gant yep Ron Gant so yeah what did my wife say uh, she um, was very concerned after the first one that's why I called my son because my wife would like not going to let me do anything Hey, Frank, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is another lot that I picked up tonight. 16 boxes. I have the video, the pickup video. I didn't have it. I didn't post it yet because I got to edit, edit it down, you know. Because I took it like I was in the garage working when I got the text. I said, oh, here's a quick video. Hey, guys, this is what happened. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go pick it up. Went and picked it up. And did a little one outside. It was so dark outside. I'm like, nope, got to do it inside. So when I brought them all inside, I shot another, you know, 60-second video. And, um, yeah, then I just got to come up and edit it together. And I just figured um, I can do that anytime and post it. 
So you guys are getting to see the first box before um, 77 tops here. Yep. Uh, before the actual pickup video where I went and picked it up. Triple exposure. Jose Canseco. That or he's secretly triplets and not twins. Jose. Ozzy. And Benito Canseco. I don't know. Juan Canseco. How about some uh, Rock Reigns? Very nice. Uh, I guess Rick Soulfield. I don't actually know those guys, but... Who's on here? Ernie Witt. I guess would be the guy. Ernie Witt. Richie Zisk. Who doesn't sign that much. And my boss said he got a, a TTM back from Richie Zisk uh, last week. Pretty cool. Don Robinson. Omar Moreno. Bird Bly Levin. 79 tops. And, yeah, he started in 70 with the Twins. Uh, Off-center, Manny Sanguian. Willie Randolph. I checked the backs of those because sometimes they're Burger King cards and stuff like that. McKellar. The Penguin, Ron Say. Elvis Woods. How about some Butch Hobson? Willie McGee. Marvin the Martian. It's a pretty good picture of his face. Seventy-seven tops. Yeah, they're. I mean, seventy-seven. Uh, Bill D again. Oh, he goes over there. Tom Johnson. Twitchell. Splitorf. Dyer. Goltz. Pete La Eat Eat Not you guys, I'm just saying Trying to get to this video um, Hey Jason, what's going on? Yes, Willie McGee is an alien You guys didn't know that? He had a lot of uh, bit parts early on as a child In Um, um Bugs Bunny cartoons as Marvin the Martian. Daffy Duck. All them good ones. Jim Clancy. Off center. It's a, like a, a diamond cut. You can see how fat the border is. And then there's hardly any. Some Mickey Lolich. And that's in fairly nice shape. Don Robinson again. Hey, Buck Martinez. Shout out to Alex over at you know where. Jay's Mix. He'll be booming in here in a minute if he saw Bucky Martinez. There we go. We'll put Buck up there where he can see him. How about some Dusty Baker action? Very nice. Dave Tomlin. I am surprised at the amount of uh, 70... 7, 78s, and 79s in here. Most, a lot of 79s. Hey, look. It's Marvin the Martian. He's back. Except this is off the bottom of a box. L. But cool. Um, 
He's all boogered up. Danelle Nixon. Robert Darnell Nixon. And missed the box. Steinbach. Corrected version. Says All-Star Game Performance. Don Reynolds. Seventy-eight, Charlie Moore, Pepe Frias, Guru, Twins, Gene Mock, Hey Keith Hernandez, Vernaz, his first year was seventy-four, Steve Swisher. Sal Bando, Bumbo Rivera. So Frank, by the way, if you're here, still here, Frank, are you going to invite us all to your your grandmother's um, birthday party that you have for? You're going to shoot a nice video for us. Going to have a ripping packs with you. Remember how tops used to do the Cubs team cards? Yeah, with all the heads, just always. It was so annoying. I was like, why you guys got to be different? Frank Duffy. I have to admit, I mean, I know I have some complete sets now, but when I was collecting, like, and I haven't gone through the whole complete sets um, that I bought at the auction, but this card, I've never seen this card until right now today. Like, right now. And it's not like it's a high number card. It's only number 106. If we can get it to focus. Stop focusing on that guy. Not going to focus. Anyway. So, yeah, I've never seen this card till right now. But, yeah, I know I, I have it because I have, like, two complete sets that I picked up at an auction. We were just planning Grandma's party tonight on the phone. Got to keep the crowd small due to COVID. Yeah, yeah, that's your governor, right? You live in New York or you upstate Jersey? I can't, I don't remember. Houston Astros, all colored in. So somewhere along the line, there's a whole Astros team set here. I love it when they're not colored in. But I was one of those kids that colored them in. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you were around then, you colored them in too. Six Toes Lascano. Like, like you know how the, the, the Native Americans, when whenever they gave birth, Whatever kind of was in the surrounding, whether it was tall trees, so it would have been, you know, William Tall Trees, you know, you know, barefoot or whatever. Um, I guess when he was born, someone in the room had six toes, and I wonder if it was him. Hey, that baby got six toes. Well, we just found out what his name's gonna be. Pedro Bourbon, Steve Yeager. Another card that doesn't look familiar to me, but you know how that is. Gene Richards. Whoa, we got here's our official oldest card. It's got a little gum or wax staining on the back. Received a reported thirty thousand dollar bonus to sign with the Cardinals in nineteen sixty seven. That was probably a lot of money in sixty uh, seven. 1974 top. So there's our new oldest card. Can we put it here? Because we're putting all the other ones over there. Don't want to goof that one up. What's this? That's a shiny uh, 92 draft picks. Jack Wallace. Mighty. Grandma's in New Jersey. Yeah, spiking kids. That's only because the people from New York live in North Jersey. And they pick it up in New York and drag it back to Jersey with them. We know how it works, Frank. We here in New Jersey know how it really works. So 
So here's some that are a little sticky. Got a little bit of, looks like carryover on the back of that card to this card. Not paper loss, just looks like bubbles in the clear coat. Kurt Schilling. We all know how it works there, Frank. Can't fool us, Jerseyites. Mark Grace. Well, them Northern Jersey guys you can fool, probably. Joe Girardi. Sean Dunstan. Delano De Shields. Derek May, Asenmacher, I guess we're flipping. Hesketh, gross. Bouchelle. Davis, Eddie Zosky, another classic card. 78, Larry Sorensen. Mitch Williams traded to the Astros. Boom. Kurt Wilkerson. Bird by Levin. So I know I said this once before, guys, but uh, after the garage gets set up, uh, meaning new walls and paint and all that stuff, you live in Joyzy, New York. I live in South Jersey. We down people down here don't have that accent. A lot of Pennsylvania transplants over here. Parker, but he's got someone scribbled on him or something. Like they tried to fake a uh, signature. I found quite a few of those fake signature cards in here. Missed the box. Badly missed. Cecil Fielder. There's O Tugger. Chris Chambliss. There you go. Nice Yankee. Strawberry. Look. I kid you not. Now just imagine him. Look at that little head and that big helmet. I'm telling you. He secretly he's Marvin the Martian. Tucker Ashford. Um, as I started to say, um, I'm going to get one of those. Um, oh, God, what's it called now? I forget what it's called. Um, a printer that I can print up shirts and stuff like that. And I'm going to make my own version of, of like wrappers. Not... <clears throat> Not those kind of wrappers. Um, baseball card wrappers. I, I know I've showed this once before. But, you know, to, to have this and, and maybe change tops to flops or something like that. I don't know. Um, and just put it on shirts. I was going to do the cricket thing, but there's something out newer than that. Grandma's in Freehold, New Jersey? Okay. Joyzy, sorry, Joyzy. So, that's one thing I'm going to get. That printer costs like 500 bucks. The cheaper version of it. Here's a leaf gold card of Jeff Blouser. So, those, guys, those of you guys who weren't here in the last live stream it's been a couple of days um i didn't ask him about it tonight but i asked him about a couple of weeks ago i guess um about um the seven school buses thing and he said there's a bunch of drug addicts right now hanging around that that area and um they're just i don't know upscounding with a lot of stuff and he can't get access to it, he being art. So, 
We may be missing that. Because I like art. I just want to get pictures of this thing. He's like, I do too. I said, I want to get pictures. Post it on my channel. Because it's like a once in a lifetime thing. You know, to see that many cards in one spot. Seven school buses and a house full. Will McEnany. McGriff. Oh, time to get someone. We recognize their name. Thanks, Alex, again for posting that. Yeah, guys, we're chugging along here. Slow. It's a real slow grind to get to 1,000. Uh, hopefully we get there one day. Because that box of goodies is taking up room where I can put a couple boxes of uh, 5,000 count boxes. Gibson. Hojo. Boston. You dirty rat. Oh, there's a Yankees. You know what? Boom, right over Boston. My Yankees trump your Red Sox. Boom for the win. You know, funny, I, um, I'm playing in um, MLB The Show 19. I'm doing my second character, second career. And um, lo and behold, Gary Sanchez plays for the Indians. So maybe that's an omen that we're going to, the Yankees are going to pick up Lindor for Sanchez and Frazier and I don't know who else. I hate to give up Frazier, though. Because every time our guys go down, the big guns... Frazier's guy that comes in and saves the day. So, Berg Blind 11 thinks he's at the beach because life is a beach, I guess. And who knows? Stanton might be gone, right? They may be trying to offload Stanton. I think he's in the last year of his contract with the Yanks. He shouldn't count the last two. He's been hurt so much. He should be paying the team back. Dwayne Kuiper. Kuiper. Billy Buckner. Nice. Suter, Hall of Famer. Mike Lum. Another Chambliss. Checklist card. That's always good to get the checklist. Luis Pujols, right? Isn't that Albert's uncle? I think it is. I came across them last time, too, and I never went back to double-check that. But I think he's Albert's uncle. I know, but <sighs> I don't know if the Mets can just com compete with the Yankees dollar for dollar. I know they maybe they got a new owner or GM or whatever they got, but um, Tony Perez, Hall of Famer. Mike Sedek. Mike Ivy, Al Cowens, not not the guy that drove OJ around. That was Al Cowlings. That's not getting confused. All right, and Cowlings was a football player, not a baseball player. This guy probably drives a Volkswagen Beetle, where the football player Cowlings drove a Bronco. Butch Hobson, 78 tops. Ah, 
Halecki, Ed Halecki, Daryl Evans, Gene Kleins, Mickey Hatcher, Ozzy Gian looks like a young Ozzy. I wonder if that's a rookie card. Oh no, it's a Panini card. No. Fourth year. Doug Jones from the Indians. That was in one of the other boxes I went through. That same sticker, Doug Jones. Matt Williams. Bob Watson, very nice. Jimmy Sexton, Tommy Hutton, met him. He was um, at one of my Little League banquets when I was a kid. Uh, Ron Reed got like he was sitting in someone's back pocket and got just wrinkled up on the side. Jack made his major league debut with the White Sox. Jack McDowell, rookie card. Very nice. Rick Russell. Ron Reed. Chris Sabo. And Rags Rigetti. Spaghetti. Um, well, this one has the stickers on the back. Let me put you over there. And it's got the stickers. Charlie Huff. Lefty Grove, got it, 255, got it. Bill Lee, a little rough, a little rough on the edges. The Bear. Pedro Barbone. A lot of 79s in this box, holy cow. Jim Rice, Aroni, Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer. Benito. Billy Buckner, Robin Yount, Vic Corral again, Gary Lavelle again, and this is the last one from the first row, last stack from the first row. Hack Wilson, Baseball Immortals, it's 1979, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Well, let's see who makes these. I have a bunch of these already, but it's got trivia questions on it. That's always good. What's a trivia question? It says, which Hall of Famer was the first to win 300 games? Ooh, first Hall of Famer. Which Hall of Famer was the first to win 300 games? Wow, you guys aren't going to guess it. Some guy named Pud Gal Galvin. Pud Galvin. We're all thinking like 
Cy Young, Christy Mathewson. Nope. Someone that you've never even heard of. All right, a little stickiness going on here. Oh, um, John Smiley is spooning with Jose Rijo. Not sure how Mrs. Rijo is going to feel about that. There we go. Come apart. A little bit of um, gloss finish transfer. And one bit of paper here and there on each shoulder. Man, Jose Rio likes spooning. Oh, that wasn't too bad. With Tim Pugh that time. Jose Rio again. Oh, you guys are just kissing. There's some paper loss here. Brian Williams and Steve Foster. Oh, I forgot these checklists. Now we don't have anyone in the back. Hershiser. Lee Smith. Getting congratulations. Pete Guerrero. Window. Herbeck's making a stink face. Or he's doing an Elvis impersonation. The Elvis lip going. Ah, uh, rookie cards of Mike Easler, I guess. Rock Reigns. Very nice. Pat Dobson. The hair hanging out all around that hat. Keep your hat on, Pat. Rick Burleson. Al Hrabowski, the Mad Hungarian. Steve Rogers, Joe Torrey, Hall of Famer, 77 Tops, is in the Hall of Fame stack. Bobby Cox, Hall of Fame. John D'Aquisto. Jim Essien. Parker. Dale Murphy, nice Murph. Carter. Bucky Dent. Paul Molitor. If it ever focuses, there we go. And Russ Nixon. Not a Hall of Fame manager. Hey, Warcraft. How's it going? All right. Second row of cards. Oh, I see some die cuts. Let's get to the die cuts. Because you guys know me. I like dessert first for the meal. I like my dessert. My Gubaza times two. Score checklist. Joe Necro. Pete Falcone times three. Here we go. Die cut. Brian Anderson and Mike Hanneman. 
die cuts that go over there for now. Let's leave them up later. Hershizer. Bulldog. Steve Finley. Here's some dessert. Let's get to the dessert. These are probably just those playing cards. Oh, yeah, look, there's one around the back. Terry Pendleton, Jeff Pendleton's brother. We got a mini brick here, no problem. Steve Foster. Mike Bilecki. And Jeff McKnight. It's a mini brick with the stadium club. Efren Valdez. This one's a little more stickier. Let's see what happens with it. Ooh, at the end it was pretty rough. Yep, paper loss there on Mike Moore's kneecap. Who's this guy? Ray Lankford. Dale Murphy with the Rockies, but he is bricked. There'll be paper loss there. Swindell on the playing card. Look at that. Four spades. Who's this? George Bell. El Presidente. Dennis Martinez. Brett Butler. And Felix Jose. The U.S. Playing Card Company, 1991. Costco. Kevin Torve. Steve. Franco Mitchell. Davis. Davis. Bell and Snyder. All right. Can we separate? I was about to do my sale, but wanted to see who was live first. Don't want to step on toes. Don't have to worry about that. Don't worry about stepping on toes. Do your regular thing that you do. Do you. Yao Ming. All right, let's see how bad this Murphy had paper loss or not. Still pretty stuck. By the way, I sent, I sent like a 600-count box of bricks to, uh, yeah, he got paper loss there. Jim Tatum did um, to uh, John Jabs over at the Past is Alive. I wonder if he's going to do. You know, he's got paper loss on the on this sticker there, and looks like it's raining all over here. But that's little specks of um, gloss coming off the other card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for uh, any more dessert in here. Oh, here's something that's a little short. Drop down in. Shorter than all the other cards. Going for dessert. The third helping of desserts. What is it? It's Joe Strawberry. Oh, I want to collect the book. Okay. Strawberry, collect the book. Uh, score gold. Gold Rush. Gold Rush from score of Henry Rodriguez. Mackie Sasser. A little ticky tackiness. Not too bad, though. Another Jose Rio. Alan Trammell. Dave Otto. The Otto. Lots of nice cards again, sir. Thank you. Um, yeah, I paid 90 bucks. I was really excited because he said three boxes of 88 Dunruss. And I'm thinking, Matt, automatically I go to wax. Ooh, wax boxes. But they were actually, um, factory sets. But a lot of, uh, 77s, 78s, and 79s in here. Tony Perez again. Johnny Oates. There's some kind of 
color bleed over on that car. It's hard to see on camera, but it's got an orangish tint color bleed. How about a Jim Beatty? Jim Beatty. Bob Forth. Cardinals. Ken Boyer. There's Jim Beatty again. Johnny Oates. Mike Sedek. Gene Tennis. Dale Barra, Yogi's Kid. Lee Smith. Joe Kerrigan, he ended up managing in the bigs. Maybe for Boston, I'm not sure who else. Manny Sarmiento. Bob Apodaca, shout out to Frank's Card Corner. Big Mets fan. Steve Sachs. Sal Bando. Very nice. Dan Ford. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer, from 79 Tops. Very nice. And hey, Brendan Boss, how's it going? So far, oldest card in the box is a 74 tops. Jerry Royce. Andre Dawson. Dusty Baker. I Williams, one fifty four, got it. Ron Darling. Oh, nineteen eighty eight tops football checklist. Nineteen eighty eight. Starts oh checklist number one too, Super Bowl. 87 record, then starts out with the Redskins. Very nice. The Broncos. John Elway's number one on the Broncos. 49ers has Montana number one. The, the Redskins got Doug Williams as their quarterback. 
Bobby Haybear is the uh, Saints quarterback. The Aints. They were the Aints back then. See, the Browns have Bernie Kosar. He was okay for about a, about a month. Warren Moon for the Oilers. Colts, Jack Trudeau. Seahawks, Dave Craig. Football. Well, that's our first non-baseball card in this box. Waiting for guns to finish and then came over here to say hi. Boom. Well, thanks, Warcraft. Well, it won't be long, but uh, on the 26th, uh, World of Warcraft comes out with their next X pack, right? So I'll be taking that day off from work, spending a vacation day playing some WoW, Jack Moores. I could stream it too. I might stream it. 1980, Hal McRae. It's our first card from 1980. Tom Griffin. Expos, Dick Williams, Hall of Famer. Warren Comarty from nineteen seventy eight tops, Bill Lee from seventy nine tops. Brent Main, Eddie Pierce, Johnny Wathen. Joe Cronin, 314, I got it. I believe he became the... Uh, I'm not going to say it. But I think he was the um, president of the uh, National League. You might find baseballs with his name on it. Don Baylor. Mickey Rivers. Some Eric Plunk action. Stan Pappy. Eddie Whitson. Sean Dunstan. Bob Denier. Oh, someone got crunched in the bottom of the box. Who got bent all up? Tom Candiotti. Yep, look at that nice crease across there. And missed the box. Red Sox. Red Sox again. Bake McBride. Gene Garber. Oops. The Penguin Ron Say. Tug McGraw from 79. Tony Hum, 
Games from 78. John the Count Montefusco from 79. Ooh, a 72 tops. There's a new old card in the box. Tom Phobus. Very nice. 72. Bird Hooten. Mr. Greg Nettles. Greg Nettles. Who's this? Rock Reigns with nobody on the back. Dave Stewart. Andre Dawson. Eric Plunk. Back to back Plunks. Thanks, Alex. All right, who do we have here? Kevin Gross. How gross. Joe Girardi. Dibble. Oh, we got... No, they're all right. Dave Stewart sticker with um, Coleman on the back. Spooning with, or should I say, being spooned by Mr. Paper Loss Guy. Yep, who is it? Ivan Calderon. Oof, Ivan took a beat and they both did. And they both missed the box. Well, I missed the box. Joe Girardi, Texas Rangers. Doc Kramer. Ooh, I'll probably have it. 11.54. But it's a high number, so I have to check it. This is a kind of a reprint card. Jack McDowell. And they couldn't even cut it out right. The investment advisor says... At just $2.50, Jack's 1988 Fleer rookie card has been creating plenty of interest lately among smart investors. You see it right there. The investment advisor says, buy up the 1988 Jack McDowell rookie cards. Because at $2.50, they've been drawing a lot of attention. You pay two dollars and fifty cents. You re you're regretting it today. All star Rick Monday and back to back Rick Monday All Stars. Dale Murphy in a Sillies uniform. Paul Molitor. Jim Morrison, not the singer from The Doors. Just plain Jim Morrison. Cecil Fielder, classic 90. All right, we got a brick. Of 
Fred McGriff, Brian Downing, Brett Butler, and Mike Sosha. Minor leaguers. And what's well, Rudy Pemberton? What are you doing in the back here? Spooning with. Nope. You're face to face, man. You just. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Not going to say it. But Gary D. Sarcina, that was not a good view of you. And Rudy Pemberton. You are acceptable. But this one, Greg Myers, it took a bit of a beating on the clear coat. And this one's going to be bad. Let me see here. Greg Myers and Tori Lovello. I'm not going to waste my time or your time on breaking that one. Mickey Hatcher. Tom Dixon. Vic Harris. Tony Scott. Mike Phillips. Jim Dwyer. Hershizer, Panini sticker, Bob McClure, Sal Bando, Bill Castro, Bill Castro, Brigetti, Oliver, Howie. a little bit of paper loss on Joe, and Joe, Joe and Joe taking paper off of each other's cards. Andrew Sedenio. Tucker Ashford, Jerry Grody, Harold Reynolds, Freddie Patek. God, I forget what his nickname was. Duffy Dyer, Ralph Gar. Got a crease across them.
Lee again. It's like our third one. Third in Yuli, Yuli, got it. Parker. Sparky Lyle. Christensen, Vicaris, Chris Spire, the Expos Union, Andy Van Slyke, 93, Baseball Playing Card Company. Benito. Oop, bang my phone. Luis Pujols. Uh, 83 tops checklist. Very nice. Parker, Phil Gardner, Gary Lavelle again, Halecki, Montgomery, Jeff Erden, I can get it off of here, League Leader. Wow. Sticker may cause, uh, nope, just because it's glossy. Williams, Schneider, Steinbach. Joiner, ooh, uh, young Rick Wise from 1972 tops. Look at young Rick there. That's our second card from 72, Ricky Hendu. And Doc Gooden. Let me grab a drink real quick, guys. Getting a little parched. Oi. Oh, back at it. All right. Duffy.
Ralphie Dyer. Chuck Baker with a Hershiser stuck on his back. Or Ricky Henderson. I choose Ricky. Jerry Morales, 78 tops. Tony Rosa. Shane Deese. Jutes, Jutes, Watson, Cesar Cedeno, Manny, Joe Wallace, Mike Torres, Mick Kelleher, Bobby Castillo, Ed Herman, Lee Lacey, Mickey Rivers, Frank Duffy. That's the second time I've seen that card now. Both of them tonight. Jim Dwyer, Brian Sandberg, Winfield. And Nick Leva is creased on the very bottom. Missed the box. Matt Williams, rookie card. Pirates messing around, I guess. Well, Goose Goslin inducted in 1968 to the Hall of Fame. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Bill McKeechney. Do you know what? I'll just put these over here. Bird Bly Levin. Here's a reprint of Rance Pliss. Pliss. 1979 TCMA Limited. TCMA. Lou Whitaker. Alan Trammell. Got him. It's number 72. Wait Hoyt. Got him, 115. Ross Youngs, 26, got it. Joe Dugan, got him, 112. Carter. Well, I got about 10 of those. Conlin collections, but I think I got all of them. I'm not sure about just that one. Yep. Marvin the Martian. Jack Morris. Jim Abbott. Scorecard. From Panini from nineteen ninety two album. Oh wait, there's someone else here stuck to him. 
There we go, Terry Mulholland. Fun fact. First major league player ever to play alongside his dad. Come on, we know who that is. Everyone knows who that is. Who's going to guess? The first major leaguer to play alongside his dad. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer. And that's right, Alex Griffey. Well, I'm assuming that's right. Let's see. Does he give an answer? Um, that doesn't give you an answer. It says, see page 60 of your Panini Baseball 92 album for instructions on how to play. Well, great. But we know it was Griffey, junior and senior. Littell. And senior got a hit, and junior hit a home run, right? And there's also, they were the first ones to go back-to-back -back homers, father and son. Look, Marvin the Martian. This is really boogered up cut. Tucker Ashford. This is a miscut pile. Daryl Knowles. The Penguin. Robin Young. Hey, our first gold card and it's Bobby Bonilla. Nice. Put that in the box with the gold cards. Dan Walters. We talked about him today. Bobby Mercer, one of my favorite Yankees. Butch Weiniger, Gary Serum, Dave Roberts, Randy Moffitt, Miscut Moffitt, the Moffitt Miscut, Miscut Box, Willie Hernandez, Tim McCarver. Oh, wait. Mm hmm. Manny Trio. This is number 206. I have him. Ernie Padgett. That's you, Ernie. Tom Foley. Larry Gura. Jose Rijo again. I set this McCarver aside. I think I'm going to send it to him, TTM, see if he'll sign it for me. That'll be an upcoming video. Bob Welch. Gary Alexander. Steve Bouchel. Dave Roberts. Steve Braun, Guru, Jamie Quirk, okay, we have an Omar Vizquel and a mini brick, two card brick. Underneath an autograph of Bobby Munoz, and it's a brick, and it's a brick. Oh, got it, but there's paper loss. 
don't know if that's legit. Or, oh, it's not. You know what? Mother, the mother truckers. Oh, what mother truckers. So this was a silver signature card, and they colored over it with black marker. Because I can see silver popping through it. I'm like, are you kidding me? I want to slap that kid. Hey, Steve, how's it going? I thought that was a legit autograph. I'm like, yeah, no. Well, they got me. They got me. They deked me on that one a little bit. Mickey Hatcher. Buddy Bianca Lana. Tom Bernanski. John Uria. Champ Summers. Tom Hume. Bob Randolph. Willie Randolph. Ozzy Guion. Chuck Rainey. Tons of 79 and 78s in here. There's a few 77s. But our oldest card right now is a 72 tops. So we have two of them so far. And a 74 in there. A two from 72. Pretty cool. 72 is like my favorite design of cards. Uh, why are you bricked, Eric Plunk? Why would you be bricked? No, you're not really bricked. Well, Plunk lost some. But Cecil Cooper held on strong. Mike Willis. Moose Haas. Champ Summers again. Oh, wait a minute. Felt a little thick. There we go. Champ Summers and Marty Patton. Lou Brock, rest in peace, Lou. Tim Rock Reigns. All right, Alex, have a good one. Thanks. Just got a box of 125. Thinking of making my first video. Yeah, why not? You might as well. Good night, Alex. Might as well. You're on here, right? You might as well start your own channel. You never know what you want to do. You might want to, you know, do something else with your channel, but got to start somewhere and get used to being in front of the camera and talking. Even though you're not publicly speaking, some people still find it hard, even though, like, you're not in front of an audience. Um, so get you good practice, Doc Gooden. Fred McGriff. Sandy Alomar, Jr. Mark Grace. All right, this is the last from row number two. We have one row of cards left. Joe Altobelli. And the 
San Francisco Giants. Vic Harris is probably in that picture somewhere. Larry Cox is not in that picture. Charlie Huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down, Dennis Lamp. Mookie. Mitch. Paul Zuvella. Jim Barr. Gary Lavelle. Mike Ivey. Pedro Bourbon. Gary Serum. Times two. Cardinals with Ken Boyer. It's like the third one we saw of that, I believe. One and only Bud Stoney. How's it going? Dennis Leonard. Pretty nice card. A little centering issue, but... Everything else looked good on that. Ken Henderson. Jerry White. Rennie Stennett. Dick Drago. Doug Bird. Gene Richards. Tommy Hutton again. Billy Buckner. Tom Hume again. Six Toes again. Ben Ogilvy. John Milner. Davy Concepcion, Ted Martinez, Cleveland Indians, 77, Bill Fahey, 78, Jay Car or Clay Carroll, sorry, Frank White, uh, Billy Hunter, he's off center cut too. He's in the off center card cut. Bill Allman, Randy Reddy. All right, last row. Here we go. If I can get them out without destroying them too bad. There we go. Start off with 78, Jim Willoughby, Tommy Holmes, Quisenberry. Carlos Lopez, Leo Foster, Pepe Freas, Gary Carter, Jim Cott, Merv Retimond, Lee Lacey, Pete Vukovic. I believe Pete had a brother named George, too. Not quite sure, but I think, yes. I think he played for the Phillies at one point. His brother. Dick Ruthven. John Stearns. Let's see if we see this on the camera. Focus, baby. He got something in his mouth. What's that? Sunflower seed or something? He's gonna spit out. Or he's just got no teeth. Is that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. I got no teeth. 
Please sack. Pasqua. Pagarillo. Tommy Lasorda, Dodgers, the Dodgers. Thinking about Dodgers, there's Davy Lopes, Wayne Twitchell, Danny Goodwin, Bill Lee again, Junior Kennedy. Wayne Nahar Nord. Nordhagen, Wayne Nordhagen, All Star, Don Money, Bob Randall, Terry Foster, Forster, sorry, Forster, not Foster, Forster. Ron Williams, minor league. Fred McGriff with the Jays. Willie Green. Carter. Highlights. Breaks catching mark. Fernando Valenzuela, no hits the Cardinals. Dave Stewart, no hits Blue Jays. Carter breaks catching mark again. Doc Gooden. Dante Bichette. National League emblem. Jack McDowell. Goose. It's on the loose. Trammel. Guessing game. Fun fact. Nicknamed Spud for his resemblance to Spud's McKenzie. Don't know. But it's an Edgar Martinez. Sticker. Oh, this one's all boogered up. Maybe hard to see, but you can see all the creases there. Badly missed the box. There's Edgar himself. Lee Smith. Johnny Wathen. Larry Christensen. Tim Raines. Andre Dawson All-Star. Dawson All-Star.
Here's Bo throwing someone out from the warning track, I'm sure. Dawson. John Curtis from 78 Tops. Bob Nepper. Barry Sorensen. Dick Drago. Mario Guerrero. Larry Milborn. Dale Murphy. Bruce Souter, Hall of Famer. Tony Scott, Tony Scott. Mike Phillips. Dave Winfield with Ricky on the back. John Mayberry, 79 tops. Parker, checklist. Jack Morris, checklist. Marley, Grace, checklist. How about some Deion Sanders action? From 91 upper deck. Second year card. Brian Downing from 79. Martinez from 79. Sparky again from 79. 77. Stan Wall. Rick Burleson. John Allrude. Jim Kern, uh, 78. Becky freaking Dent from 79. Oscar Gamble from 78. Roger Freed, 78. Larry Bittner from 79. Raphael Landestoy. Chris Chambliss. Frank Tavares, times two. Billy Buckner, again.
Mike Mims. I think it was a Philly at one point. Glenn Borgman. Sticker of Jose Canseco. Another 72 tops. Rick Auerbach. How about a 72 tops? Red Shane Deist, Hall of Famer. And Don Pavlovich. 72 tops. Kurt Schilling. There's Marvin the Martian. Checklist. And Mariano Duncan. That was a nice rush of 72 tops. Very nice. Johnny Walton. Uh, Andre Dawson, one of those player cards from 1992. Andre Dawson. Boone, Johnny Oates, Fair Stickers, Ron Say. Tucker Ashford, Randy Stennett, Randy Jones, Rogelio Moret, Jim Clancy, Joe Ferguson. After his Dodger days. Bucky Dent. Omar Vizquel. Bird by eleven. Bill Stein from seventy eight tops. Steve Dillard from seventy eight tops. And uh, 87 Dunruss checklist. Gary Carter. Jack Morris.
different gates, I guess. All right, coming up on the halfway point of this row. Don Robinson's got creases like he was in someone's pocket. How about an 81 Dunross checklist? Number one. And the first card in this set was Ozzy Smith. Cool. Rolly Fingers was number two. Trammell was five. Fidrich was eight. Mike Schmidt was 11. Starger was 12. Joe Morgan was 18. Rest in peace, Joe. Bruce Bochy was 20. Steve Carlton was 33. And Mario Mendoza. And about some Dave Parker action on it. Traded. Hal McRae. Kiki Jones. Jim Abbott. Strawberry on traded. Very nice. Doc Gooden. Alan Trammell. That's uh, Parrish. Lance Parrish. Yep, Lance Parrish. Fernando Valenzuela, 87 Dunross. Gary Carter. How about some... 77 batting leaders from 78. George Foster. RBI leaders, I'm sorry. 77, Milt May. Fabulous Chicken. Ricky Henderson getting a brush back. Did this one before. That's um, Brett Butler. No, Dale Murphy. I oh, screwed that one up. All right, getting down there. Tom Hanky. Murphy. If 
Fabi Mercer, super veteran. Dan Javier, Jim Barr, Pito Santiago, Chris Durkin. Harold Baines, Jim Abbott, Triple Play Action Baseball with You like this new name. I'm gonna change one of my new tunes name. That's fine. Probably, probably not going to be available. This? Yeah. Sure. Terry Steinbach. Hey, Donna Blumbell, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Going through a bunch of 84 tops blank backs. Nice. Hey, NCJ. Not too much. Uh, Art contacted me tonight around just before five o'clock. Said he had sixteen boxes of cards and three boxes of eighty-eight Dunruss, and I was thinking, oh, wax, sure. I, I'd have bought them anyway, but it turns out they were um, almost complete sets. Uh, two of the sets had the um, the um, Glavin rookie card in. This one, or one of them, I saw didn't appear to have it. So this one didn't appear to have it, and they broke open two two things looking for the Glavin rookie. But two of them they left the Glavin rookie in. This one I didn't go through all those loose cards, but um, I I'm sure I have a Glavin rookie I can just throw in here to complete these sets, and then I'll have three factory sets basically. And other than that, going through uh, these cards and picking out the Hall of Famers and fan favorites. And uh, we have quite a few cards, about five or six cards from 72 tops that were thrown in here. As the old just cards in the box. Thank you, LaValier. And we're down to about half a row, less than half a row to go, and the box will be done. There's that old Tom Nevers. Dave Parker, 87 tops. More stickers. Hershiser. Al Hrabowski, 77 tops. Cito Gaston, shout out to Alex, who just signed off a little bit ago. Hershiser, 93 Dunruss. Johnny Oates, 79 tops. I have two tops traded, 82 sets, 
one set. I sold Cal's rookie card over 30 years ago for three bucks and a Greg Jeffries rookie card. I'd say I lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we didn't know. Three bucks. Someone got a good deal. Hershiser. Jeffries. Harold Baines. Scott Cooper, classic from 92. Dutch Dalton. Paul O'Neill. Herzog, Hall of Famer. Leaders, 87, kind of design, Phil Bradley. 83, Vergetti. Chat Zedder. Paul Gibson, Bazooka, starter set. Bobby Witt, senior. Took the senses. Mickey Tettleton, Six of Clubs from 93, the U.S. Playing Card Company. Bonilla from 92 Post Serial. Strawberry. Terry Pendleton, Jeff's brother. Twin. John Candelari from 85 Dunruss. 78 Tom Pachorek. Triple play. Action Baseball, Pirates versus Cubs, Ryan Sandberg on the cover. Fucking Dent, Tony Fernandez, Peter Cavillia. Rick Russell, 78. Ron Say, 78 tops. Uh, baseball Magazine, Sandy Alomar Jr. It's from Tops. So. Big League Brothers, Rick and Paul Russell.
Or I saw something in here with a blank back, but maybe that was just me. Interesting. Here it is, blank back. I knew I saw a blank back. So we have a card with a blank back on from the 70s. 78 or 79. Blank back. Boom. Tom Pachoric. Blank back. There you go. You guys saw it here first. Woo-woo. Error card. I remember the card show... King of Prussia, yeah, yeah, King of Prussia, card show. I've uh, been there a couple times back in the day. Yep. They had them all over in this area, actually. You could go to card show every every freaking weekend, different one. Alan Trammell. Craig Biggio. They would have them over at Nishamity, at the Nishamity Mall, uh, Springfield Mall. Where else? King of Prussia. There's another one at the, where the Northeast Extension starts in. There's a mall there, too. That's not Nishamity. Um, I forget the name of that mall there. There's one there. Uh, they used to have there. They used to have um, on 611. They would have some up across the turnpike. Um, used to have a lot of card shows in the in this area. Whitehall Mall, Lehigh Valley Mall used to have them all the time. I was living up there. Used to have them at the Lehigh Valley Mall like every month. Then every so many months you have at the Whitehall Mall. Blue Jays, Ernie Witt. You name it, if the mall was there, they had them. Um, the Cherry Hill Mall would have them. The Moorestown Mall would have them. Um, what else? They still have them up in Bordentown. Andre Dawson. I don't know if they have because of COVID, but they would have them up in Bordentown all the time. Small ones. Uh, Mount Laurel would have them there at the at one of the hotels there on 73. There's a 1980 Burt Hooten. Pretty nice. One of the few 1980 cards. Mickey Hatcher's rookie card. I had a few from 1980. I'll set this up as the error card of the box. The blank back Tom Pachoric. Mark Witten with both hands inside the border. Hey, silver signature that I didn't try to forge. They're not brick, they're just ticky tacky. Eric Karras, John Flash Gordon. Here's a leaf gold, ticky tacky with uh, paper loss there. Both gold, Kevin Bass and Avery. 
Gary Reed is all creased up. Hey, first one to make the box. Dick Williams, Hall of Famer. Mike Caldwell. Uh, players choice Juan Guzman and Terry Pendleton. Oddball cards from Cartwrights. No idea. Pito Santiago sticker. 77, Randy Stennett. Bill Madlock. First annual collector's edition, Ralston Purina Company. Tops. How about a Fred McGriff? Hey, we got our second uh, boyhood photo of Rick Wise today. Here's the other one. Ooh, ooh. So now we got two Rick Wise boyhood photos. Uh, rookie cards of Dan Schatzeder, spelled correctly. Uh, Roger Salkhead, Tops Magazine. Yep. Jim got the corrected version. Um, I have the error one right over here. So here's the corrected Jim Gott from 90 Upper Deck. Here's the error Jim Gott. Same backs, different front. Jim Gott, correct, and the error. go. If you guys never seen that one, you've seen it now. 139 to go to your 1K. You can do it. Yeah, I know. I've been going to mention it in my live stream. Okay. All right. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate it. Dude, I am you know, chewing at the bits to uh, give away that uh, those boxes of cards. Uh, Going to be three winners. Uh, selected two winners are getting two boxes of cards each and the first prize winner is getting like four boxes of cards and a whole bunch of other stuff i have a video out there for my 1000 subscriber giveaway video people just have to check it out and i'll put a link to it in this um description here when i get done george burns not the actor The baseball player, but I have that one. All right, guys, we're winding down here. We've got about 50 cards left, and this box is done. Thank you, Donald, for uh, showing me a plug like that. I appreciate it. All right, that's it, guys. This is it, the last 50 or so cards. Let's see what we got. Tyler Houston, uh, 78, Tommy Hutton, there goes Whitey Herzog, Fernando Valenzuela, League Leaders, Hal Ryan, got it. Luke Sewell got it. Sam Gray got him. Here's a TCMA card. Yep, TCMA from 78, card number 15. George Warren, Barney Schultz. Hey, those Cardinals pitcher. Barney Schultz.
Rigetti, Shirley, Mark Davis. Last few, here we go. Dan Walters, we talked about him and his tragic um, ending, so to speak. The end of his playing days. Uh, there's a Terry Harmon. He he went to one of my um, little league banquets as well. Got him to autograph a piece of paper for me, like an index card. Um, how Dan Walters passed away um, after being shot on duty with the San Diego Police Department. Um, he fell back into traffic and was struck by a vehicle, paralyzing him. And, uh, yeah, he just recently passed away within the last year, I guess. I have a video. I made a video about it, talking about it. Uh, Earl Hershiser again. A little brick here. But not like paper lost bricks, just ticky tacky. That one has a little loss of um, gloss. Hershizer, Hershizer record breaker. There's a little brick. Keith Comstock is the corrected version with the blue letters. The error would have white letters. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Can't get them. Get it every time. It wouldn't be rare. Pete Schulrich. Who's this guy? Rodney Henderson. Never heard of you, Rodney. Sorry. How about a 79 Rennie Stennett? Teddy Hagera. 80 Don Ase. Walter Trice. Hey, our first Alvaro Espinosa showing up. I'm going to focus. There it is. I'm going to say that's Ricky Henderson. I see a four there, and I think it's Ricky Henderson. A 77 Phillies team photo with Danny Ozark as the manager. Luis Gonzalez. Deion Sanders. Looks like he got hit. He goes there. And the last card is Steve Avery. Highlights. 91 highlights. And that's it, guys. Got all those. The box appears to be empty. So what did we end up with? Well, we ended up with it one error card. This blank back. From 1978, Tom Pachoric. Pretty cool. Oh, wait, wait. There is one card left. We have, uh, I don't know, it's a Cracker Jacks card or what? Of Kent Herbeck. Cracker Jacks. So these came in a little, you know, box of Cracker Jacks. Kent Herbeck. Yeah, they're probably not going to focus with all those big cards in the background, but there it is. Cracker Jacks. Um, oldest cards were from 72. We got a handful of those. So 74, Jerry Royce. A bunch of 79s, 78s, and 77s here. And fan favorites. Small stack of maybe 30 cards and maybe 50, maybe 50 Hall of Famers. 
And that's about it. And oh, we got this one here too. This there's one of these that was it looks like there's an error one. I've got it. I set it off to the side, but there you go. And that's about it, guys. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and uh, checking me out. Thank you, Donald, for giving me a shout out on your um, live stream tomorrow, today, depending on what time it is. Uh, we did get this one 1988 Tops football checklist number one, series number one. And so that's the non baseball card. Um, and that's it. I appreciate it, guys, for coming in and hanging out um, and sharing this with me. Um, working every day now in the uh, garage. I didn't work Friday night, um, but I work today and I'll get up there first thing tomorrow. Try to get the rest of the drywall up. Shoot a little video for you guys. And then comes, you know, just painting the floor or whatever I'm going to do with the floor. Whether I'm going to throw a carpet down with indoor, outdoor carpet. You know, look like AstroTurf type stuff. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I can't wait so I can get, like, all this stuff moved into the garage. I was uh, up at Lowe's today checking out shelving and stuff like that. Uh, I prefer to have them on shelves uh, instead of just stacking them, you know, on the floor. So if I'm going to buy some shelving, I wanted to put in some display cases to kind of set it up like a card shop in there for you guys to kind of just browse, um, you know, some of my my better, better cards. Um, and, yeah, these cards, they, they need to get out of this room, get out of the dining room that we don't use um, and get out of the living room and get out of the hallway up here. I mean, yeah, you guys will be surprised when you see how many boxes I'm actually going to have. You guys really have like no idea. I've showed some. Um, what's that, Donald? Let's see. Just did my first episode today. Okay. God, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? I know I started late, and we've been on almost to 1.14 a.m. here on the East Coast. So, I want to thank Steve Rademacher for stopping by, the one and only Bud Stoney, Criterium Racer, Donald Blumdahl, Steve Lorenko, NCJ. Uh, let's see, who else? There was on Alex from Jay's Mix was here. Um... Warcraft, a.k.a. Crafty. Jason Matson was here. The Hobbyist was here tonight. Um, Brendan Boss was here. Frank's Card Corner was here. Talked about his grandmother's um, upcoming 100th birthday. Um, uh, hopefully, I can I convince them to uh, make a video. If he's done some with his grandmother, um, you know, so it'd be nice to see her opening packs with him and stuff like that. And Frank always puts out some good stuff, funny stuff, you know, off the wall stuff. Um, he's a big Mets fan, by the way. Let's see who else was here tonight. If I can get all the way back to the beginning. I don't know if I can scroll back to the beginning. Yeah, I think we're all the way back to the beginning. Uh, not quite. The card, yeah, the card master 1212, whose name is Ronnie. He sets up at the uh, Columbus Flea Market. I have not been up there in months. Um, he sells um, newer stuff, um, blaster boxes, stuff like that. And the same name, you can probably find him on um, uh, eBay. Um, he sells stuff on eBay. Hey, Rob G., how's it going? So uh, that's it, guys. That's for that's it for this video. Um, oh, here we gotta put the the error card, the blank back from 1978. Tom Pachorek gonna be going in the book, the error book. And that's it, guys. Thanks again, everyone, for stopping by, hanging out. Um, 
just spending time chit chatting. Um, and with all that being said and done, this is Boomslang signing out saying peace, guys. We'll see you, Tom Pachorik, Mr. Blank back in the next one. Any final comments um, before we sign off? I'll take them now. I need a drink. My throat is absolutely totally dry. I'm getting closer and closer to having the garage done. Can't wait myself. Started a new Saturday stream. Episode one, baseball cards sorting. Looking for hidden gems. There you go. Yes. And find one every once in a while. The Jim Abbott stat line. What's that, Steve? What's this Jim Abbott stat line? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, thank you, Donald. I'm glad I can inspire someone. That's what I do. You have good, um, good, uh, no, good shows too. So, I especially liked your yard sale you had last year out of your garage. That was pretty cool. That little Jim Abbott card I pulled earlier. A little Jim Abbott card. I think all the little cards, they were stickers. It was um, a couple of league leaders, right? Uh, Fernando, Benito, so Bradley. This one here, this is a Panini sticker, the guessing game. That must have been it. That's the only little one. Yeah. Um, just um, shoot me an email, and I'll I'll just mail it out to you. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just a sticker. Shoot me um, an email there with your address so I can just send it off to you. Um, yeah. Well, it costs like 50 cents to mail it, so it's not a big deal. I'll sleep it up right now. There we go. Now I got these really, really crappy top loaders. So I'm just going to send it in one of these that I picked up. I picked up a whole box for like five bucks at a flea market. Or no, it was a card show. I thought there'd be some good stuff in there. There wasn't. It's just a bunch of really crappy, crap, crap, crappy craps. You know, someone had them for their dividers, for their cards and stuff. So, there you go. Just shoot me your, your information, and tomorrow Sunday, so I won't be going out tomorrow, but Monday. You can shoot it out Monday. And Monday's out going man. 50 cent. It all costs is a number of... Uh, 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 stamp so it's not like it's going to South Korea that's it just opening boxes of cards or you know um, yeah I'm, I'm lucky I live in this area I'm telling you what I I see stuff all the time, but I just don't have the money to keep buying this stuff if I want to get my garage up and going. Uh, next year, late spring, early summer, we'll have to try and get together when we visit New Jersey. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I guess the group shut down here. They're not going to have the national, so that's going to 
you know, I wanted, I, I wanted to go. And then when this whole COVID thing went on, I'm like, geez, I don't want to, because no one knew what it was all about in the beginning. And right now it doesn't seem like, you know, oh, they're talking about all these cases, but I don't know. I personally, I know no one that's got it. Uh, my work has never stopped working. We were shut down. Um, I was sent home once because one guy was feeling sick and all that, but he tested negative. A um, couple other places in the shop, I guess, one or two guys. Uh, rumor is they, they had it. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I don't know anyone who's uh, ha ever had it, so I don't know. You know, I was worried about it, but right now I'm not worried about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, really? I'm email sent thanks. I'm like, okay, no problem. Well, that's cool. Just have to use my airline ticket by July 31st, 2021. Really, the airline didn't refund your money. Well, I guess I guess they're not going to. Because they're hurting for business. The airlines are. Well, Donald, um, what is there around here? There's two flea markets that, you know, will be open again next, next summer, too. Saved it in my Alaska Airlines account. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um... One's a fairly big flea market. And then there's other ones out towards, if you're going out towards um, Central and Western PA. Central PA, there's one big one. But again, like, I don't know because of all this things that's going on that. <clears throat> I don't know if they even opened up at all this year. I know the ones around me did open up, and I went to them a couple times. And, um, but the guy selling baseball cards at the one closest to me. They don't, they're like gone. The one guy, he just said, no, nope, he's done for the year and all that good stuff. And the uh, other guy, one guy was really sick. Um, I think he had cancer. So he stopped coming and he sold old stuff, vintage, like old cards from the 50s and 60s and stuff. Um, he stopped coming because of his cancer. And the, the one other guy just, I don't know. He had newer stuff. I bought stuff off of him too, but you know. Yeah, I know, I know. Times well, we just have to be patient, I guess, and wait it out. It stinks. It stinks. It stinks. That's all I can say. And I'm sure everyone else is saying that. How bad it stinks. Oh, I got my so I got my Tim McCarver card. Where's that at? So Tim McCarver charges ten bucks. For his auto. I've already got the, the envelope, everything made out. I just didn't have a card to put in it yet. So here's the address envelope. Here's my return envelope. I'll pop this in there and shoot it off to him along with 10 bucks. So I'll have to make a video of that. And um, yeah, hopefully I get it back. The reason I'm getting Tim McCarver because he was the catcher for um, Bob Gibson. He was Bob Gibson's catcher. He was Steve Carlton's catcher. You know what I mean? Like he caught a lot of uh, you know, good ball, good pitchers and stuff. He only charges ten bucks. He's not a Hall of Famer, but I don't know if he's a Hall of Fame as a sportscaster or not, but not as a player. But he only charges ten bucks. So and. That's a nice one. Blank back from 78. Whew. Didn't even, know they, didn't even know they had them. I guess they did. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, Donald. Appreciate you giving me the shout out on your channel. And uh, yeah, I'd like to hit thousands someday soon. Maybe by the end of the year. Who knows? All right, thanks, guys. Again, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out. Um, 
do something tomorrow too. I'm sure. Um, don't know why I've got, I got so many boxes to go through. I still haven't finished the, the Vineland warehouse lot from big dogs, toy chest. That's his YouTube guys. That's his YouTube, uh, his YouTube channel, big dogs, Cho toy chest. He just put out one today talking about some old, uh, some toys that he got. Um, if you guys like GI Joe figures and stuff like that, or Ninja Turtle stuff, um, he's got a lot of that that he sells. Um, I messaged uh, John Jabs tonight, emailed him about Big Dog having um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lair, like the first lair. Not there. I guess they have a second or third lair, and um, so I he was selling it. Now it's not in a box. It's like 90, 95% complete. And he was selling it for like 75 bucks. And if you go on um, um, eBay, they go up like around 350 bucks. So, but that's a box. You know, that's the complete thing box. If you can buy one, that's 90%. And if you know what you're looking for, when you go to the flea markets or whatever, which John does a lot, you can probably pick up those little extra pieces that he needs to finish it off. But I, I don't, I don't do toys like that, so I, I don't know. That's totally up to him. But I made him aware of it, and the guy will, you know, of course, ship it. But it'll have, John will have to pay for the shipping. But whatever. Anyway, um, Rob G, thanks for stopping by. Um, but we're on our way out. Just did a little recap, and we'll see you guys tomorrow, man. We'll do something, you guys. Don't forget to check out Donald Blum Blumdoll. Uh, gonna be live tomorrow. He's out in um, Washington State, so check him out, guys. He's starting something new for Saturday mornings on his channel. Just gonna be doing like opening boxes too and stuff, sorting, looking for hidden gems, and that's the uh, the theme of his thing is looking for hidden gems. All right. All right, guys. Thanks again, and good night, everyone. This is Boomslang signing out saying peace. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right, Donald. Good night. Good morning. We'll let it wind down. What's what's another minute we'll go to three hours on the button it's the first time i did a three hour one in a long time i was trying to cut the time down but it didn't quite work out did not work out tonight got a lot of cards from 78 and 79 though that was slowing us down going through them I gotta edit the video for the um, for the the lot buy. You know how I do my lot buys when I say, "Hey, I'm going down here, guys. Check it out." Well, I shot that, but I went live before I edited the other one up. I should have edited, put it in editing, and let it edit while I did this. But it's all right. It'll go up too. All right, guys. Again, good night. We'll see you tomorrow. With something else, something good. Check out Donald on his live stream here in a couple hours.